but directly, literally by not wearing masks and promoting spread, directly results in further delays until we can open the country back up. Again, this is my opinion now. I believe that the risk is probably mortality-wise, you know, the, the, the evidence, the jury is still out. It's probably, for, for me specifically, it's probably twice that of the flu. Majority of people go home, or if they don't go home and they stay overnight, they're, they're in an area of the hospital well away from where the COVID patients would be. So there, they, there really is no, nothing to fear from, from the patient's perspective. Children can get and spread virus in this asymptomatic way that we're talking about, meaning that they have no symptoms. They have virus, and they give it to their teacher and other people. They give it to grandma, and then those individuals get sick. So we have to be aware of that. For every one percentage point of unemployment, every one percentage point increase, and I qualify that because that's sustained for six years, you get 33,000 extra deaths, as I would say, collateral damage from other health morbidities such as suicide, homicide, domestic violence, cardiovascular disease. Since we're all living in the age of COVID and dealing with its fallout, many questions arise. Should we worry about our future? About our children? Should we worry about hospitalization? I talk with Dr. Rich and Dr. Winter about how to beat COVID-19 on this episode of The Healthcare Experience with Tom Glander.